Mako Cannon no ho mite kure. I want you to check the Mako Cannon. Nearly six months after its Japanese release, Square Enix's Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus is about to be released stateside. Set in everyone's favorite Final Fantasy universe, the story follows the enigmatic Vincent Valentine and takes place shortly after the events of Final Fantasy Advent Children. But unlike most games in the Final Fantasy franchise, the game is heavily action-based as Vincent uses customizable guns to blast his way through legions of enemies. What many may not know is that Square Enix has gone above and beyond when bringing this game across the Pacific Ocean. Typically with its games, the voice acting is localized and that's it. But with Dirge of Cerberus, the US release has been drastically changed, including several tweaks to the gameplay to make it more palatable to American audiences. Most notable is the targeting system. In the Japanese version of the game, shooting could only occur in an over-the-shoulder view. Now the targeting reticle appears while the camera is pulled back, which means that US gamers will be able to navigate their surroundings much more easily, especially since the game has also been sped up. <laughs> In addition, Square Enix added a double jump to the mechanics, which adds a world of difference. And unlike the Japanese version, you can now shoot while jumping, greatly opening up your attack possibilities and allowing for more combos. You'll also have more chances to hone your skills with the extra missions that have been added to the US version. Another change involves the Limit Breaker, which allows Vincent to turn into a rampaging beast. In the Japanese version, this ability could be used in conjunction with filling a meter. Now the Limit Breaker is an item, making you pick and choose your moments of rage a little more carefully. There's absolutely no doubt that the changes made to the US version of Dirge of Cerberus make the game more intuitive and, more importantly, much more fun to play. Especially for US audiences, who have come to expect a little bit more flexibility from the controls in action games. We'll find out if all the work is worth it when it's released in a couple weeks.